One, two, three. Hey guys, welcome back to part four. Um, we're kicking off and straight after part three. So let's chat to her again. We've just before um, made the wrong choice on the last name. So let's try again. It's Watson. Be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Uh, You'd be surprised. Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. How do you know? Victoria Chase. You know her. You could say that. But why would Dana go after your boyfriend? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to get the quarterback. According to Victoria? Oh. She saw the sex. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Let's go look at her room. Your Givenchy? You could pay for my... Those boots are made for walking runways. I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. Yes, Victoria. That's real nice, Victoria. And who the hell thinks I'm a hipster? Boom. This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Print that email. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Is she going to need a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. She crazy. She's actually got a classic medium format camera with some awesome prime lens. I hate you, Victoria. I have no idea what she just said. Let's go, bitch. Show her that bloody note. Juliet, read this. Of course. Yeah, you were stupid. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zach? No. But I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Matt. You're like hey. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Okay. How's it coming? Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Uh. That looks like a home pregnancy test. Hey, Dana. Seriously. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. <laughs> Victoria is not nice. I don't get it. She has everything. And to pull that prank on a friend? Just because they're in the Vortex Club doesn't mean they're BFFs. I'm in it, and Victoria creeps me out. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though Warren obviously likes hanging with you. He's a good guy. A geek like me. You saw the files in his flash drive. Tons of crazy shit. Films I've never even heard of. And in a special folder called Matt. Yeah, okay. I gotcha. Are you blushing? <laughs> Go ahead and grab the flash drive whenever. Oh, uh, Max, that's mine. Thank you. You're not helpful. You're just nosy. I think you better go. 
Oh, didn't I upset you? Nice, Max. You heard of Let me rewind that. Now I feel too wiped out to leave. I assume Dana kept the appointment. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic, I guess. Ooh, Dana's Facebook wall is up and running. I shouldn't look. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. This is both sad and pathetic. Mm. Now I feel too wiped out to leave. Let's go. Mom sent me one. Mom, he's a twat. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Yeah, bitches. I'm helping. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm psychopath. Psycho, psycho, psycho. <coughs> you can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Oops. Hold on, hold on. We won. That asshole was so over the line. I could rewind and try something different. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. You can't see me. Bit of John Cena coming out now. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Yeah, buddy. This is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Well, you do that, bitch. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. Don't want to kiss me now? I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now I... Oh, this is a dickhead. Pluck my tune. I 
glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand it. <coughs> Ooh, how much do you get done? How could Zach and Victoria do that to me? Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Mac. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that stank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zach yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he texted Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. I think Warren wants to hear something. He usually does. Hang in there, Juliet. See you around, Mac. Say ya. Uh... I wonder how long before Sammy will have to repaint that. Is there anybody else in here? Now this really pisses me off. So entitled. Sorry, handicapped folks. My truck needs these two spots more than you do. Bastard. He's a doggy. That dog looks peaceful asleep, but if I get too close, Cujo. The whole town is turning into one giant missing persons poster. So it should. Too often kids go missing and all he finds them. No! Look at Warren and his Wayback Machine. He's a brave man. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong timeline. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. Man, I saw language of people. Pick of you on Facebook. Made your bitch move. No worries, Warren. I took a sweet shot of Victoria. I can't wait to share. Oh, score one for Team Max. It'll be so karmic to see her ass clown face all over the interwebs. I guess she does deserve it for all the shitty things she's done to people here. By the way, I saw Daniel's sketch of you online. Not bad, but I could do a much better job. You can draw? I thought you were blinded by science, not art. Art is science. Music is math, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I put Stephen Hawking against Picasso any day. <laughs> so you must use a computer to draw. Of course. I'd love to tweak one of your selfies with some cool graphics. That might not suck. I'll let you know. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie video on my flash drive? Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than a thief. Ha ha. Thief! You're a thief, man. See, Nick, I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires, too? No. Sensitive. He's gay. Awful the way you say it. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, you should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I need to talk to somebody, just to get it. <coughs> Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For real, I think he wants a bit too much. Not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? Oh, it's psycho boy. Photo groupies. I'm one of his students. 
What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you saw, now. Answer me, bitch. What are you talking about? I know you're new here, but don't even play stupid with me. I'm not new. I've lived here for years. Then you should know the Prescotts own this shithole. Then you don't have to worry about me. Worry about yourself. Do not analyze me. I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Kaufman. What an asshole. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh, man. You're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude. Hey, leave him alone. Nobody tells me what to do. Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Wait, in the bathroom. No. <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Go, go, I got this. Damn, Max. Get your punk asses out of there now. Don't even try to run. Nobody. Oh. Well, we're going to have to stop it there guys, and I will catch up with you guys in part 5. Don't forget, a like, subscribe, and a share would be fantastic. So.